Oh, hi guys, didn't notice you there. Chris Hemsworth. As you can see, I'm just lounging around, you know, casual day. From the rich shores of Malibu to the enviable Byron Bay on Australia's east coast, the name Chris Hemsworth goes hand in hand with sun-kissed luxury. Alongside his wife, the thunder from down under has beefed up his bank balance into the hundreds of millions. And he isn't afraid to spend it all on the real estate bells and whistles that money can buy. Have you ever wondered what beachside Aussie luxury actually looks like? Have you ever wanted a first-hand tour of Chris Hemsworth's house? Well, now's your chance. Let's take a look. Why beat around the bush? Let's dive right into it and check out the jealousy-evoking, controversial, truly one-of-a-kind mega mansion in Byron Bay that Thor and his family call home. Byron is a coastal town in New South Wales, in between Sydney and Brisbane, and is a popular vacation spot known for its beaches, surfing, and scuba diving sites. It's a beachside paradise which locals flock to in order to escape the hustle and bustle of the cities, and it's where the Aussie actor forked out a whopping $20 million to build his new home from the ground up. That's 20 times more expensive than the town's median house price of $987,000. When this exorbitant palatial estate was being constructed from a bird's eye view, Hemsworth's luxury pad looked like a cross between a power plant and a military compound. But after he tore down the initial $8 million home and invested close to $12 million more, we're left with a modern secluded oasis jam-packed with more opulence than you could ever imagine. One of the first things you see as you walk in the front door on this 4.2 hectare property is the enormous, epic mural comprised of black lines and rippling blue circles. The painting is called Durangang Gagal, which translates to thanking the ocean. As we keep moving, the home boasts 10 bathrooms, 6 bedrooms, one for Hemsworth and Elsa Pataki to share, one for each of their three kids, and then a couple spares. Throw in a media room, butler's pantry, a game room, and a built-in fire pit, and then you start to see where all the money went. The stunning 50-meter rooftop infinity pool is estimated to have cost at least $400,000 a Alone, and offers unmatched views over the greenery of the Broken Head Nature Reserve to the ocean beyond. The property also functions as a retreat, offering a steam room, sauna room, and massage room. Damn. Of course, no Thor home would be complete without a gym. To maintain those iconic biceps, a fully equipped gym sits in his house as well, which offers an assortment of free weights and cardio equipment. Hemsworth clearly hasn't spared any expense. A similar six-bedroom house in the area, still small in comparison, is available for rent for $4,500 per week. It's fair to assume that Chris's mansion could probably double that. Obviously, you can't be living in a house while it's under construction, though. That's why Chris and Elsa opted for a second Byron Bay home, this piece of real estate art in the nearby suburb of Suffolk Park. The Balinese-inspired house looks out of a pristine tallow beach, but it doesn't just offer sublime ocean views. It also comes with its very own private access to the sand. What happened to this place when the family made the movie into a mega mansion? It was rumored that Chris's parents, Lonnie and Craig, moved into the Suffolk Park pad. Clearly, Chris has a love with the Byron Bay area, but why? What made him vacate the glitz and glam of California? Well, here's his reasoning in a nutshell. In LA, my kids had a camera in front of them all the time, and it made my daughter become very scared of photos. She didn't want pictures taken. In other words, they just couldn't take it anymore, so the privacy, seclusion, and laid-back feel of coastal Oz seemed like the perfect adjustment, not to mention the obvious Aussie roots. If, hypothetically, we were hoping to score the eight-bedroom Balinese-style resort home for ourselves, how much would rent cost? Well, that's a good question. This similarly styled house, which comes equipped with a true resort-style jungle feel, goes for $2,500 per month. Considering it has fewer bedrooms, it's fair to say that Hemsworth's old house could easily reel in $4,000 per month in rental fees. We know that this hunky heartthrob is swimming in cash. Since he landed the role of Thor, he has money coming out of his ears, but it hasn't always been riches and wealth for Hemsworth. In fact, his story is reminiscent of the classic rags to riches tale. Let's rewind for a second and have a look at how this man rose to fame and how he managed to put himself in a position to afford $20 million houses. The pieces all began to fall into place for Chris when he played the role of Kim Hyde in the Australian TV soap opera Home and Away. That role helped him gain domestic notoriety and a stint on the Australian and Dancing with the Stars helped too. Then up in LA, he made an appearance in the opening scene of J.J. Abrams' 2009 film Star Trek. The flick was a smash, grossing $385.7 million and catapulted Hemsworth onto the Hollywood map. In 2011, he slammed on 20 pounds of extra muscle to audition for Thor. Once he landed the role, the rest was history. Fast forward to today, Chris Hemsworth's net worth is estimated to be around $130 million US million, which is over $100 million more than Liam, with his social media accounts worth at least $47 million 
Canadian alone because of their vast reach. But that hasn't always been the case. Growing up, Chris barely made any money. He saved his cash for a whole year to buy a $600 surfboard and then didn't even want to use it because he was scared to damage it. In his own words, he taught me many lessons about appreciation and working hard for something. Clearly, he's managed to turn things around since then. Hemsworth started out with $150,000 for 2011's Thor film, but has since earned $15 million per MCU movie ever since 2017's Thor Ragnarok, plus a percentage of the film's overall profits, which are usually in the hundreds of millions. And when he's not flaunting a cape and hammer, he's often wearing Hugo Boss or Tag Heuer, two brands which he has signed ongoing seven-figure endorsement deals with. Then, of course, there's also the hundreds of thousands of bucks he reels in from being a Tourism Australia ambassador. Who remembers that 2018 Super Bowl Crocodile Dundee commercial that turns out just to be an ad for Australia, right? Yeah, now you know what I'm talking about. This isn't a movie. No. It's a tourism ad for Australia. Yes. With money flowing in six ways from Sunday, Hemsworth can afford to splurge now and then as we've seen, although his real estate portfolio is a little more diverse than just Byron Bay Mansions. He and Elsa also signed a deed to an absolute stunner of a property in the celeb-centric, high-class, infamous beachside suburb of Malibu. Let's take a tour through, shall we? Built in 1979, this contemporary style beauty measures 4,612 square feet and is packed to the rafters with style. The first thing you notice are the tall Pella doors, which welcome guests. There's also a large office and state-of-the-art family room complete with home theater, which can cost up to $33,000 on its own. Plus a 750-bottle refrigerated wine cellar, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a spa bath, Calicutta gold marble showers, and a pair of walk-in closets for Chris and Elsa to store their expensive fashionista wardrobes. No matter which direction you turn your head, towering ceilings and polished floors will catch your eye. The crown jewel, however, has got to be those views. Whether you're looking up to the mountains or over the ocean, a sunset from this Malibu balcony would be near impossible to beat. The median list price for square footage in Malibu is $1,137, which is significantly higher than the Los Angeles metro average of $447 per square foot. Surprisingly, despite its evident luxury, Hemsworth pad sits under the Malibu average at just $748 per square foot. Don't worry, we'll do the math for you. He paid a whopping $3,450,000 for the property. Not all of his hard-earned cash goes goes towards fancy houses though. Some of it goes to fast cars and other toys, which I'll touch on in a second, but a lot of it also goes back to the community. Chris is a spokesperson for the Australian Childhood Foundation and also played a significant planning and financial role in creating World Oceans Day in 2018, which encouraged people to prevent plastic pollution. Although perhaps Chris's most proud use of his money was paying off his parents' debt. It's understood that Hemsworth raked in a cool $5 million for starring in Avengers Age of Ultron. A sizable portion of that paycheck went straight to his parents. As little brother Liam tells it, Chris called his dad one day and asked him to check his bank balance. Craig's debts had been completely cleared, leaving him speechless and humbled. Now, about those fast cars. Well, not supercar kind of fast, but about as fast as you can get on a range of family-sized SUVs. The Hollywood heavy hitter has been seen driving a $200,000 Cadillac Escalade as well as a sleek $90,000 Audi Q7 in his recurring favorite color, black. Keeping in mind that Hemsworth teamed up with Audi Australia in 2015 as a brand ambassador, there may have been some mates rates involved. To round out the garage, there's an Acura MDX, which when fully loaded costs a little over $60,000 and a Cadillac SRX, which can be reached for 50 grand. Most of these cars have enough room for three kids and surfboards, which is exactly how Chris likes it. Despite holding the keys to multiple mansions, Chris doesn't like to stay put too often. Alongside his family, he's ventured all around Australia for vacations, anywhere from the warm tropical sunshine of the Great Barrier Reef to the rugged waterholes scattered throughout the Kimberley region, and of course the Australian outback. Wherever his family is, they're bound to be in the midst of some sort of adventure. Chris sports an abundance of toys to get the wind flowing through his hair and experience that great outdoors on any given day. He's been seen riding $1,000 quad bikes and jet skis, as well as cruising at the helm of luxury boat while on the set of Men in Black in Italy. Anyone else seriously jealous of this dude's lifestyle? I know I am. If he's not driving, boating, or dirt biking, then he's flying, and with a booming bank balance, he can afford to fly in unmatched style. Time and time again, Thor's been spotted journeying on private jets, echoing the life of a royal. Hopping on a private plane doesn't come cheap, though. An international round trip on one of these bad boys can set you back upwards of $200,000. Generally, customers can expect to pay $12,000 per hour to jet around an ultimate luxury, a small price to pay for privacy and simplicity to get between his mega mansions, wouldn't you agree? 
If you woke up tomorrow with $130 million in your bank account, where would you buy your first home? Would you prefer the bright lights of LA, the Byron Bay Beach, or somewhere else? Let us know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks so much for checking out The Richest. See you next time.